me stop fooling around and start my act. <laughs> Husband overseas? Really? Shame on him. I was overseas four years, came back home, my old lady was pregnant. She met me down at the doctor, said, Fox, you're a father. Uh -huh. I said, and you're a mother. <laughs> hey, you want to sing something? What's your favorite piece, dear? You remember? <laughs> you don't remember, huh? Been so many good pieces, hasn't it? <laughs> That's why you live uptown now. We're going to sing, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, 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 merrily. It's like the dream, all of you remember. I'll show you how strangers can sing in perfect harmony. Just don't try to solo. Let's blend on the downbeat. Row, row, row your boat gently down. <laughs> but all the human beings in the room sing on the downbeat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily. All the good-looking people. A few liars dropped in there. Amen. What's for everyone? Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 merrily. Just the girls this time. Sing it, goddammit, come on! Life is but a dream. Now you others. <laughs> come on, I know it's a crowd this side got to be one fag in here. Where you at, honey? Bend over, I'll drive you to Newark. I went to the doctor. He said, Doc, look at here. He said, look, Doc. Doc said, how'd you get that? He said, I stick it in beans. Doc said, what kind of beans? He said, human beans. <laughs> and another guy went to the doctor. He said, Doc, look at here. And Doc, look, he said, oh. <laughs> he said, Doc, I, I think I caught coal in it. Doc squeezed it. He said, well, let's call it clap till it coughs. <laughs> they say, Slim. I was laying in bed last night talking to my wife's sister. <laughs> no, 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 on the phone. Gee, what a dirty crowd is here now. I should have got to my main stuff. Listen, let me show you how you react. I'm going to tell the story, and when I get at the punchline, everybody's going to be quiet, and then you'll all start laughing together. Watch. Pro. I know what I'm talking about. Two girls walk down the street. And one girl hunched up and says, hey, girl, look, look across the street. Isn't that your husband coming out the florist? She said, yes, damn it, he's got two dozen roses. She said, I'm going to have to keep my legs up in there in three days. Her girlfriend said, well, why don't you get a vase? <laughs> Could I help you with it? Oh, God. A toast. Let's drink a toast to someone decent. Let's think. <laughs> we'll be here all night trying to think of something. Any war veterans here? None of y'all fought? I was a hero in World War II. Wounded in Newark, New Jersey. Shot coming out of a whole house with a soldier's wife. Hit me in the wallet. Right back in the wallet. Hadn't been for all them addresses, I'd really been seriously hurt. It's, it's, I don't like no stuff going on behind me because, you know, New York. 
A friend of mine won't go home till October. <laughs> Been mugged 38 times. 38 times in the same building. You ever been mugged, brother? Or are you the mugger? <laughs> no, it get rough sometimes. People don't know how bad it was in St. Louis when I was a kid during the Depression. I mean, we were poor. And when Christmas time came, if I hadn't been a boy, I wouldn't have had nothing to play with. <laughs> if you ever get drunk and go home and sit on the toilet and throw up in the face bowl I've been drunk on that I sat in the face bowl and threw up in the toilet I say, god damn they got a tall toilet in here I came back a half hour later put some cold water on my forehead and I reached in the face I said damn I remember eating that I've had them on, Jim. I've been drunk in my day. How many people here are religious? I saw them holy clothes you wear. Right here, buddy. These niggas ain't never been out before. <laughs> Yeah, brother, go ahead. You by yourself? You know why? Have you tried band roll on? <laughs> Sitting up there with them long toenails and them sneakers. Foot smell like somebody that shit in it. <laughs> now I'm be fooling around. I tell the truth. Nothing's a secret. What am I smoking? Man, this is not a question answer, period. Nigga, why don't you go home and kill some chances so you can sleep later on? <laughs> Boogie me, why don't you go downtown and hurt a white act, nigga? <laughs> Thank you, brother. He's all right, I'm just kidding. You. Put your spear back. <laughs> no kidding, I don't need interruption. I'm so good alone. Leave me alone and watch. Put that where you want to, honey. I love black women. I'm not lying. When I pull my covers back, I want to see what's laying there on the white sheet. I had a white girl once blended right into the sheet. I missed her and bit a hole in the mattress. Show me a husband who won't, and I'll show you a neighbor who will. <laughs> Let me get my cigarette fresh. I smoke and drink. A lot of you don't drink, no smoke. Some people here tonight, don't, they don't eat butter, no salt, no sugar, no lard, no biscuits, no gravy with onions in it. Because they want to live. They give up that good stuff. Neck bone, pigtail. You gonna feel like a damn fool laying out the hospital dying from nothing. <laughs> I've been smoking 40 years. If I don't have cancer now, I'll probably have something that will eat it up. <laughs> cancer better not fuck with my body. I mean that. There's a lot of things worse than cancer. A six foot six black nationalist in an alley with a hatchet mad at you is worse than cancer. No, brother. You know I wouldn't smoke no gangsta out here. You know, you're kind of dumb. <laughs> and ugly. Why don't you play horse with him? He'll be the head and you'll be what you were. I 
don't know why y'all keep jumping in the show. Act like you ain't never been out of a room before. You got to be living in the room because you don't act like homeowners. Why make me suffer with your cheap room and ass? I hate a loud broad screaming all across the theater. Ah! Embarrassing old man. I wish my old lady embarrassed me somewhere like that. I bet her lip get to the hospital before the ambulance. They be sewing up her lip when the ass arrived. Don't look at me, lady. Yes, I said lie, ass, ass. That's what I said. And I said shit too. And later on in the show, I'm gonna say fuck. To me, fuck is not dirty unless you didn't wash up. Then you're fucking dirty. Guess what I said, lady? Fuck, fuck, fuck. What you think you and your husband been doing all these years? Hey, man, let me tell you one of my favorite stories. Uh, I think it's my favorite. Uh, the teacher was standing in the classroom. He said, kids, today I'd like you to give me a sentence using the word definitely. So a little girl stood up and said, teacher, the sky is definitely blue. She said, no, Mary Ann, when the storm clouds fill the sky, it's not definitely blue. She said, I have another little girl. She said, said, teacher, uh, the grass is definitely green. She said, no, Barbara, when the sun shines down hot on the grass, it browns it, so it's not definitely green. She said, our little boy stood up. He said, look, teach, can I ask you a question first? She said, of course, Billy, what is it? He said, well, teach, um, uh, you know, teach, uh, when, when you break wind, does it have lumps in it? She said, no, Billy. He said, well, I have definitely shit. <laughs> what, sir? Let's hear a song. Him. He didn't want to hear no song. <laughs> How then? Damn, should have been left on on a picnic in a Kleenex, <laughs> or down your daddy's throat <laughs> at your mammy's. That don't hurt no nigga no more. It should, niggas shouldn't hurt nobody. Niggas in the dictionary makes sense. Niggas are lazy and shiftless. Don't get mad about that. It just mean we got some white niggas too. You don't believe it's some white niggas? Watch Hee Haw. Yeah, I saw one show when I'm saying it's raining baby brother. He said, I don't know. Why don't you call a dog in and see if he's wet? That's a lazy, shiftless nigga. A lot of whites think black people talk bad, but fail to stop and realize southern whites taught Africans English. African didn't know nothing about this here and uh-huh and yonder and gwon and get it and uh -huh. It's not African. Southern whites said, no, boy, god damn it, I tell you get that there. Uh-uh, no. I tell you get that there yonder. Uh-huh. Now chunk it over here, boy. Chunk it. Africans say, Uma Guma. Which means chunk that shit yourself. It's not black ass. people here. Hey, nigga, pay more and get a good seat. <laughs> hey, let me stop fooling around and tell you a few stories. Okay, honey, thank you very much. That's your husband? Anywhere. <laughs> Must be somebody in the world, won't you? I know I don't. 
out of here, buddy. You don't smile too much. Uh, were you a fighter? No? Just had that face from the beginning, huh? <laughs> Nigga looked like he had been knocked out. Then. <laughs> How you feel, brother? Good, nice, pretty wife. We've been friends a long time, you know that. You, you didn't think about nothing. Else. She told me about you. Love you, too. Good contrast. Some of this and some of that. It's pretty shirt, too. It's good you dressing for traffic. That's right. I hate to see a black woman in basic black and pearls trying to keep up with white people. Basic black and pearl. You get your black ass run over out there in them basic black and pearl. Truck driver get away free. So, Judge, I thought the pearls were floating in the air. Put some colors on. Be proud. Dress up. Put that red. That's a good shirt, that's huh? Nice dress, honey. Nice. Uh, oh. Aren't you the girl who walked up the aisle last show? Good God, I'm right here. Talking about hind parts. Hey, a lady went in the market, and it was some chickens up on the counter, and she picked up one of them chickens and smelled his neck, and smelled around, and he was in. She called the butcher and said, Come here, man. These chickens stink. Which is looked at as hell. I doubt if you could pass a test like that. <laughs> she said, well, just give me a Long Island duck. So the butcher gave her a duck and she sniffed the duck. She said, man, this is Michigan duck. He gave her another duck. She sniffed the duck. She said, man, this is Wisconsin duck. He gave her another duck. She said, now, this is a Long Island duck butcher. She said, you must be new here, aren't you? He pulled out his pants and said, you tell me. Don't let people fool you. I haven't joined any group yet because it's hard to give up pork. You can't cold turkey pork just right away. Guy asked me, how can you eat pork? I said, knife and fork and hot sauce. <laughs> Green, black eyed peas, can sweet potatoes, and peach cobbler, and a diet right cola. <laughs> he said, you resemble what you eat. I said, well, no wonder you look like a pussy to me. <laughs> The lady over here looked at her husband. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. Most of you will be somewhere tonight indulging in sex. Think of me and smile. Don't laugh in it, just smile. <laughs> hey, you tell you don't know what I'm talking about. Let me say this to you and then I'm leaving because I gotta go to the toilet. This is what I came here for to tell you. If you're here today with someone you love, this is the right moment to listen carefully to what I tell you. You'll be together the rest of your life. Never have no trouble no more. If someone had told you what I'm about to tell you earlier in your life, be considerate of your mate. Care. Worry about their feelings. The most important thing you must do in a romance, a love affair, social contact, physical. When you love someone, you got to wash your ass. <laughs> Don't look at me, lady. I'm telling the truth. You got to wash your ass. You can let your armpits go two days, but not your ass. How can you tell someone I love you, darling, knowing in your heart you haven't washed your ass? <laughs> now, dear friends and fellow Americans, I'm not talking about your whole ass. I'm talking about your asshole. <laughs> You'd be surprised the pollution that can be found in an area the size of a dime or a 50 cent piece, or a silver dollar. You know your ass better than I do. But you got to wash your ass. How can you turn around with your loved one in 64? What, darling? What'd you say? Oh, you're right, I'm sorry. She's right, 69, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. 69. I can never thank you enough, thank you so much. How can you 69 with the, the lady's right? How can you 69 with your loved one and have them wash your ass? Telling anybody inch away? 
And you lay there thinking, no one knows. <laughs> Shit, the nose knows! <laughs> Dearly beloved, when you go home tonight, for the first time in your life, for some of you, wash up. Come to bed damp for a change. Only Yule Gibbons will eat in dry bush country. And fellas jump in that water and wash them wild hickory nuts. But don't get under the cover all funky and dry. And pull them covers up over you and turn and kiss goodnight and, and covers raise up and settle back down and blow that breeze up your nose. Honey, did your monkey die? <laughs> Mr. Red Fox. <laughs>